I get it. I understand. You know, you're tired of the killings, the senseless killings. You're tired of having to watch your back. You're tired of having to watch out for what may happen or what could possibly happen. I get it. I understand it. And I feel exactly where you're coming from. You know? And not for them where I'm coming from, homie. They just smoked a little homie last week, man. You want us to come sit at the table and have a meeting, a peace meeting? Come on now, man. I, I, I can't do it. I can't get down like that. The streets are rough out. I mean, come on, man. I'm sit down and get him permission to come sit in our hood and just post up. We might as well just get a hood up. I mean, you triple OG, you know what I'm saying? I'm not asking you to um, be vulnerable. You know what I mean? I'm not asking you to, to um, compromise yourself in any way. What I'm asking you to do is to just hear them out. Listen, you know, and find out what exactly the dynamic is between the two of y'all. How can we trust you? That's the thing. You're our homie, but still, how can we trust you? What kind of trust can we have that this is going to be not a setup? How do we know that? That's fair. That's fair. We could go up in there and get rushed, homie. We've been going, we've been at war. Yeah, it could be a cold, cold little setup, smooth, homie. We'd never see it coming. It'd be a wrap. Well, I'm if, not falling for that, homie. Yeah, I understand that. But all I can say is I can give you my word. You know, I have um, Johnny speaking to them, and he's telling them uh, what the ground rules are. And I would explain to you guys what the ground rules are as well. And that's something that we all would have to agree you on mean, before going in. You're the other side, so how can I trust you? It's like you're bonding with them now, homie. Yeah, no, I'm giving, you, I'm giving you my word. I'm how, giving you my word. How we know if it's not a waste of time on this situation? I'm it's not, not a waste of time. Let me, let, me something something let me explain something to you. Let me explain something to you. You telling me that your homie got shot, right? Yeah. You telling me you you don't want to see kids getting shot on the street. True. You telling me that you you, you don't want the violence to continue. You're yeah. telling me you don't you want safe passage. Definitely you know, hard. I mean, if if that's what you're saying, what what steps are you gonna take to to try to make that come together? You know, you have to take some type of initiative. And this is, this is a way to take initiative. This is a way to just put it out on the table and, and, and move forward. Ben took initiative by laying them down every chance I get, huh? But aren't you tired of that? No, not uh, tired of shooting caps, especially when they come in our neighborhood and taking our innocent kids and, and families and, and uh, writing, disrespecting our name. Yeah, uh, so. Right now in our buildings? No, I mean, you're not I understand. tired. I mean, I'm tired of nonsense, but the thing is, it gotta come to an end, but the thing is also, it's like, we got a reputation to take because they come in our hood. Mm -hmm. And we got the right to defend ourselves. Yes. Yeah, and if right. they do something to us, we're going to go back and take care of those fools also. But what, what do you think it would be like to not feel like you have to defend yourself? Could you imagine? If they stay where they're supposed to be at, in their place, but the thing is, they're in our hood. We mm -hmm. were the ones that's here first, mm -hmm. that they, in our neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And now they're coming out on our, on our streets and missing for our kids and bus stops who are making safe for our families. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why we're ticked. Because mm -hmm. it's like, in the first place, it's like this is our neighborhood mm -hmm. from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So now, it's like you asking us to come to a negotiation with them when they're in our neighborhood. Mm -hmm. But the reality of the situation is they're here. They're here and they're not going anywhere. Okay? And you have to face that fact. Now, if you don't want to face it, you can continue to turn your back on it and continue to kill him, continue to be hurt, continue to lose family members, continue to lose friends, because this, this is the outcome right now. And it's gonna continue and continue and continue. When does it stop? You know, when do, when do you get some type of change? When do you get some type of resolution, some type of peace of mind? You know, I'm not saying let your guard down, but what I'm saying is be open be open to, to just hearing what they have to say. I see what you're saying. Trying to I negotiate mean, something. I see what you're saying. It's like it has to come to an end somewhere. If we don't it negotiate, then that means we're going to be bearing bodies week after week. Who wins? Nobody wins. Nobody wins. Nobody wins. So, like I said, there are going to be ground rules, you know, that I would hope that you follow and they're going to follow. It's going to be in a safe zone. I'm going to ask that you guys 
understand that we're going to have to have metal detectors. Metal detectors. Metal detectors. So I can't bring the heat? Can't bring the heat. Oh, but you know just like you won't have any they won't have any either so you're neutral you understand i'm feeling that on me i'm back to parking lots uh, i'm not feeling that either because it's like no it's like we're going there with no peace on us uh no we may be setting all belts. they do is make a phone call they know we up there with no burners so i'm yeah. make a phone call boys be up there you know what i'm saying in a hot second mm -hmm. we slipping what we're gonna do then i mean mm -hmm. they got you got too hey it's going to be a safe environment. You just have to trust. Take I'm asking you to trust. Is hard. You're taking, is you are hard. taking a risk, but you're taking a risk every day. You're taking a risk every single day. I'd rather take a risk in my own neighborhood instead of being in a location I don't know anything about. So where's this location supposed to be at? It's going to be in a safe location. Oh, in our, in our hood? Location? It's definitely going to be in a neutral zone. My partner and I, the other mediator, we're gonna definitely come to a decision as to where exactly that place should be. So we're all gonna be there. Just like with your crew, the two top representatives are gonna to come to the table. Their two top representatives are gonna to come to the table and we're gonna put it all on the table, basically. Who else knows about this location? It's totally confidential. It's totally confidential. You don't have to worry about other people knowing about it. And I'm definitely gonna let you know where that place is. Yeah, we definitely want to know, but we just don't want to be feeling kind of uneasy about this because mm -hmm. just definitely want, don't want to be set up in a situation because we are the top dogs in this neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So it's like a lot of people want us out in a situation. So it's like we have to be very cautious about what's going on, especially in a, a resolution meeting like this. Yeah, definitely. I totally understand that. You got my word. Sounds cool. So is there anything else or anybody specifically that you want to see at this meeting? We want to talk to the two top dogs like ourselves so we can uh, resolve this issue and uh, see where it goes from there. Done. We want to speak to see some reference on Done. Yeah. Done. I think it's a good right. deal. You got it. Taking the work. Yeah. All right, man.